Ah, it was kind of. It's one of the games. It was pretty easy to reflect straight after the game. To be fair, so is what it is. Um, I think we played fairly well, if I'm honest. Um, the boys carried out the game plan nearly impeccably. Two goals, two sloppy goals in the first half, but good play for them, but no great play from ourselves, from as uh, the part that we knew they were trying to hurt us, where they were trying to penetrate. So, but apart from that, I think the boys done very, very well. Their tactical awareness, their game management, their discipline within the shape, I thought it was all very good. Um, we bit unlucky, maybe not to steal it, 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 steal it, get something from the game, because Stephen Kelly has a a volley late on that Joe Hart sees late and then palms it out. It's a very, very good contact for Stephen. Decent shot at goal and Nicky has a wee half chance late on, but I thought it was quite competitive for 20, 25 minutes in the second half. But but at Celtic, listen, Celtic probably deserved the three points, but it was it seems a little bit strange. You could beat two one, but I was fairly happy with the players. Uh, um, as a complete contrast, but what I will say is, you don't always necessarily have to set up different. But what what generally happens in these games are probably we say a wee bit more even in terms of players and finances. So what happens is you manage to get a wee bit more pressure higher up the park. So your shape may not change, but where you get possession and where you are able to. Um, Pressure the opposition is a little bit higher up the park, so that's probably the main difference. Like away from home, we're generally always the same, and people might laugh at that, but we're generally always the same. The shape's just probably 30 to 40 yards higher up the park, so doesn't really change in that respect, whereas it's maybe hard to believe, but when you're sitting in your own third, defending your own area, it looks as if you're parking the bus. You're, nobody goes out with the intention just to sit in the final third and park the bus, but I think we'll be able to get a wee bit more pressure higher up the park on Saturday, hopefully get a wee bit more turnovers. And obviously Celtic at the top of the league for a reason. I don't mean that's disrespectful to Hibs at all, but Celtic's press is incredible. They're um, very, very good at it, and so they should be. Um, whereas there's a wee bit more of a level playing field with ourselves and Hibs. Maybe, maybe, but I'll wait till you kind of think that Hibs are going to do who they've got available, but probably focus on ourselves on the ball a wee bit more than what we did against Celtic at Parkhead, where generally three quarters of the game we've not got the ball, so I think the, in terms of possession it should be a little bit even or fairer, so you probably focus a little bit more on the ball with yourself than off the ball. Um, but I. Um, Big Joel should be available, so that gives us options up front as well. So there'll be a few changes on Saturday. That's has got eight games, I think that was nine games in 40 days. Something along the lines, that's where we're roughly sitting at. So I'm going to have to utilise the squad. And I've got every confidence and every faith in the players that I've got in the building. So I'm more than happy to do that. I think I've shown in my time at Livingston throughout my eight, nine years here that we're, we're no adversity using the full squad and giving boys game time. So I think it's important with the rest that Hibs have had over us. Hibs played last Thursday, we played last night, so there's nearly a week's difference there, then we're going into Saturday. So I think it's very, very important that we bring fresh legs into the team. I, I don't, I, um, I'm not what to tell people how to run the clubs, it's nowhere why I'm here, but I'm not what to really talk about Lee or Hibs, because I think that's a wee bit unfair. But what I will say is I'm a massive advocate of continuity. But I do generally understand with the pressures on social media these days, um, it's difficult for boards at clubs, but I'm a huge fan of continuity. I've gone into my 10th season here, and I think you could look at some of the top managers in the world. Football is changing slightly in that respect, but when you look at Man United and Sir Alex, you look at Klopp, how long did it take Klopp to get success? Was it three seasons? Three or so seasons? You look at um, Arteta, I think they were all calling for Arteta's head 18 months ago, the board stuck by him, he's managed to implement his philosophy, his identity into the football club, the, the board's backed him and I think they're, they're, they're sharing the rewards for doing that, so I'm a huge fan of continuity, Brian. But How many points are they all third? So yeah, they might be eight the now. I think we're three points in front of them with a game in hand, they go and beat us tomorrow, eh, Saturday, sorry. They jump two or three places in the league. So I generally think this year between third and probably twelve, third and twelve, there is nothing in the league. And even even maybe a wee bit higher than that, maybe um, there's teams that can push for that. 
But I think between third and twelfth this year, there's nothing in the league. And it'd be a brave man to predict who's going to be twelfth and eleventh this year. Even a brave man try to predict the top six at this point in time. So Hibs might be where they are at this point in time, but um, that doesn't necessarily mean that's where they're going to be, be where they are come game day 33. Because I'd have rather not had that game last night and then had to play Hibs. Considering Hibs have had what's that nine ten days um, over themselves, so but it was the Queen's funeral. This game got cancelled for the Queen's funeral with Celtic, so it had to get fitted in, and we fitted it in there. And it wasn't a home game, so we never really had much choice in when that fixture got played. Um, so would I rather have played? Probably not. Probably not. But. Um, Again, you look at your team selection, you look at the boys I've got available, that's why I try to be as fair to the squad as I possibly could. So it's good that we've got this game coming up. It's good that we've got You're always happy playing games of football, but for me, the Wednesday, Saturday, I'm not a big advocate of Wednesday, Saturday, because I think it leads to injuries, if I'm honest, and it leads to going into games a wee bit overcooked rather than undercooked. There's boys on that part that probably could have done me another 24 hours. We're not fortunate in the respect. We've got cryotherapy chambers, we've got oxygen chambers, so we've not got them at our disposal, which all help with your recovery time. So, But it's not an excuse. We've got to go out there and we've got to perform. So I'm not be using that as an excuse on Saturday.